Welcome to Acorn Carp Fishery and welcome to the Go Catch Chase the Sun special session. Now, it's ridiculously early, excuse my croaky voice and bleary eyes, I've got my first cup of coffee in my hand and we're here raising money for Tackling Mines and for Phoenix Heroes. Mr. Stephen Manley, catch owner, if you like, is on his bike as we speak, pedaling away, trying to get 205 miles under his belt to his finish line in Western Supermare. And in that same time, me and the lads here at Acorn are trying to catch ourselves 205 pounds of carp. The rods have just gone out as he set off. Let's see how the day pans out. It's a mega fishery. We've got a special celebrity guest coming later to hopefully catch a few. And with a bit of luck, Steve can nail the bike ride and we can get 205 pounds of carp bagged. Either way, a beautiful place to spend a weekend and all for a good cause. I'm gonna drink this sit back, hopefully one of those rods goes. With Steve's race starting at 4 a.m. and us starting at the same time, I decided the sensible option would be to arrive last night. That gave me the time to sort all my gear out and get a bit of bait prep done. It was clear that with the amount of activity, there was plenty of fish about. So, a bit of sneaky baiting was in order. Welcome to my crib. Myself and the rest of the lads are positioned in the car park swims at Acorn. It's a brilliant venue to try and meet this 205 pound target because there's a really good head of carp and a fair few 30 pounders. So, fingers crossed, if we can get the tactics right and get amongst a few, we can reach the target. We've probably got the best part of maybe 14 hours, maybe a bit more, depending on how fast or slow Mr. Manners is on his bike. And I think tactically what we're all gonna do is we're gonna fish very much to the features and whatever fish activity that we see. Now the forecast is for it to get really sunny and really hot. So there might be a big change in tactics and we might go on the surface and fish mixers. But at the moment, and based on what we saw last night, we'd seen fizzing near the island, in the bay at the end, and the bay the other end as well, near sort of reed beds and visible structure. We've used a combination, I've used the bushwhacker, the lads have got bait boats, and we're dropping out sort of parcels of bait on that activity that we saw last night in the hope that the fish will revisit or they're still there and we can pick up a bite. I have introduced a fair bit of bait around the island in front of me, and hopefully if the fish do come in, that'll hold them and we can get instead of one bite, maybe two or three. It is exciting. It is hard fishing to be fair because it is pretty intense. We're gonna to have to watch the water and we're gonna to have to be prepared to change. If this sun gets up, we're gonna put some mixers out, gonna be active and hopefully between us all, we can get something going and reach the target. That's the theory anyway. Pass again, I think he's waiting for Bart to appear. He's, he's still blanking. But yeah, love it. And then how are you feeling? Uh, all right, actually, that, that leg was really, actually really good. Really undulating, few quite tough hills. Um, getting a bit warm, so just needed to cool off. But yeah, that was a good one. And it is 60 miles? Yeah, just over 60 now, I think. Excellent. So uh, yeah, next stop, bag shot, but all going to plan at the moment. Fantastic, and you are making very good time as you're following your progress. Well, I've got two rods out at 10 past four, fishing across to that far margin. She put some bait in last night. Now I've noticed a little bit of fizzing shorter, so I'm gonna put my third rod out, but this one is going not so tight to that far margin, a little bit shorter where I've seen that fizzing. And hopefully, with those rods sort of staggered in different zones around that feature, we'll find exactly where the fish are and we'll get off the mark. It'd be nice to get off the mark early, release a bit of pressure, but nothing ventured, 
nothing gain. Activity, just generally, around the whole lake, there was a lot more activity last night, wasn't there? Just up and out of the blue, wasn't it? Well, we've just had our first bit of activity. Unfortunately, Paul's lost one fishing against that island. What I've seen in my swim is I've had a bit of a reshuffle. I've re-dropped those two rods with a bushwhacker really tight, right up against the island as the sun's due. And I've seen a few fish cruising along the surface, so I've deployed one zig. Now it's about six foot deep, I've got a four foot zig in play, just to see if there are fish cruising in mid-water, which I actually think is happening more readily. We have seen some activity on the island and that's where Paul's had his bite from, but I just think with that zig in play as well, we cover a lot more options, a lot more bases, and maybe those carp are just hanging in those upper layers and we can pick them off with these zigs. Either way, it's positive. We're building and hopefully we can put the pieces of the puzzle together, unlock the code and string together a few bites. Left, 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 left. Oh, we might eat. Not too bad. All good. I think they're starting to, uh, just starting to niggle a little bit. I think there's a sense of uh, false expectations because we were expecting that to be fast and fast than uh, flat. It wasn't. <laughs> All good. Smashing it. Man, I won't keep me for long. Eight miles. Yeah, that was that, the last 20 were tough. Yeah, that was tough. That was the toughest one so far for me. I'm, a bit, little bit hurt locker, so I'm, I think... Uh, well, a bit of motivation, you are ahead of Rob. Oh, it looks well, like they've slowed up. Have they? Yeah. So don't worry about that. Focus it, on what you need to do. Still on silvers. Yeah. <laughs> so there's plenty going on elsewhere. Everyone's showing a lot of support. Oh, really? Yeah. Mega. That's so you think you're doing good, so... Fantastic. Oh, so great that everybody's making an effort. You know, we're, yeah, it's a good personal challenge, but it's also raising money for two fantastic charities doing bloody amazing things, frankly. And then what about your legs? How are your legs holding? Legs all right. <laughs> uh, no, legs all right, actually, not too bad. I've got a bit of a headache, so I'm going to take some caffeine tablets and see if I can... Yeah, I don't need Craig to get in and do the chafing cream just yet. No, no, get... <laughs> Behind the camera or chafing cream, what do you reckon? Uh, chafing cream. <laughs> List up. Floaters. Off the top. The birds have been a nightmare. They've been all over the swim, but subtly, I've put two pouches of mixers out on the top. I thought I saw a few fish cruising before, and as soon as I put them out, they pretty much started taking. Because I put so few out, the ducks haven't actually been a problem or cottoned onto them yet. Luckily, I had the floater rod set up deployed that and pretty much straight away it's taking a hook bait so maybe just maybe we've unlocked a little summit and we can get them going off the top uh, i'm saying it looks like quite a good fish to be fair it's quite a long fish anyway so i'm a little bit nervous plus it's the first fish and we need to get off the mark so it's led me a merry dance it came in like a a bit of a dog on a lead initially, and then it's ran me all over the lake. Luckily, the boys have been here to get rid of the rods and keep everything clear. And hopefully, if it plays ball in these latter stages, we can get him in and get off the mark. Yeah, it's getting, we're off the mark, boys. That was a scrap and a half. It's like a long bionic common, mate. Well, there we go, we're off and running, or should that be cycling? 17 pounds two, a bit of an opportunist capture really, quite quiet first thing on the bottom. A few mixers flicked out, they started taking, and I've helped myself to this common. Hopefully, we can string, if he behaves, a few more together. What I am gonna do is treat him. They've just spawned, so they're a bit bashed up. There's a scale lifted, and obviously the hook hold, and I'm gonna get him back. Oh no. It's 
Snapped my pole. Snapped a pole. Oh, that's not good, mate. It snapped in the middle of a section. Uh, my pole has snapped or come undone and it's drifting down the lake. So short of me going on that island and going and getting it, I'm going to chuck a lead at it in a minute to try and grab it. It's all been a bit of a frantic 10 minutes, hasn't it? Chaos continued and Paul, who won the prize to fish with me, well, he was soon in to playing fish number two. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I was in kilos. kilos. Uh, go pounds. 18-2! 18 18 the biggest one yet. What a boy. Well done, mate. 18-2. Well done, boy. Paul, oh, that is fish number two, mate. And the biggest of the day. 18-2 from your margin. Well done, mate. You chuffed a bit? Chuffed a bit. Top angling. What was the winning bait, mate? What'd you have it on? Squid. Wafter. Good man. Well, let's get him back. Let's get a few more, mate. Tick away on that total. Well done. Earlier, I talked about having a special celebrity guest. Now, it's time to get serious and unleash our secret weapon. Well, I said we had a secret weapon. And here he is. You're not a weapon, mate. You're a really nice lad. <laughs> but it's your place. I need some help. I've called you in, mate. And the sun's out which for your complexion might be difficult, but you've put some sun cream I'll be on. like an old pork scratching later. <laughs> pork scratching. And we are float a rotor in it, aren't we, mate? We are. The sun's burning hot now, and there's a few taken. And uh, to be fair, I have restricted you a bit because uh, oh, I really? told you I was going to sort all your floaters out, and I haven't, and... I don't tell the camera that. He has restricted me in many ways, but to be fair, I'm glad you're here, mate. And I'm looking forward to, uh, yeah, getting a few going on the top, mate, and hopefully nailing this target, boy. Oh. Yeah, but well, yeah, well, you've had a couple already, though. We've had a couple, but we need more than a couple, boy. 205 pounds. And what if we, uh, what's, what's the team target at the moment? We're on 35 pounds at the moment, mate. 35? Yep. Which, really, um, I think Manners has done 80 something miles, 90 miles. We could do right, it. So, more. what have we got? He's got, yeah. Right, well, better crack on. Nice rod, that, isn't it? I'll keep the bait going in and you just catch them, Barry. I'll let you swirl on that already. What? You'd fucking love it if he'd just come up now. <laughs> that's what they did. At, that's what they did at the start, mate. That's, that's how I caught that first one. Look, there. Oh, look, they're in here now. I oh, know, that's what we Put want. Them right over there, right that's over there. Right. Come on, Hassan, get them out. Look, look. <laughs> Go on, the boy. Thirty. What do we need? Under eight, under eighty-four pounds. Let's see. Little jobs are good. At. This isn't look weird, does it? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, mate. Fish number two for me. Fish number three overall. Sixteen pounds something. Sixteen four. We should have weighed it with a sling on. I'm joking, um, mate. Thank you for my tuition. Although, pretty sure I might have taught you a thing or two. Noticing your striking, mate. <laughs> Can't set the hook. <laughs> uh, it's a mega one, though. Lovely scaly one, mate. And uh, hopefully. We can get a few more, boy. Yeah. Do I give him a kiss? He's one of yours. No, you're right. You oh. kiss him. You kiss him. Uh, I'll pass on that. Thanks, mate. Let's Sorry. go catch some more, mate. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Cheers, Come boy. Come on, boy. Oh, 
Ah, so we're obviously fishing at my place at the moment. Quite a commercial venue. Wanted a business in fishing and got a very commercial fishery. Busy place. There's a lot of fish. It's sort of well accessible in the southwest. Um, it's 400 carp in here. It's probably now there's about 270, 280, 20s and over 20 different 30s. But the last, go on. Go on. Yeah, over 20 odd different 30s. Obviously they've not long spawned, so some of the fish are a little bit down in weight at the moment. It's a nice little, nice little place if you're thinking of or you're heading down south or you want somewhere to fish. We get a lot of lads fish overnighters for work in the area. Yeah, check it out, have a look. See if it's, see if it's your cup of tea. Pop on down, have a fish. You've also got a lovely tackle shop on site, mate, haven't you? Yeah, we, yeah. we got a um, not long built tackle shop. It's only 18 months old now. But yeah, it's getting there. It's got everything you need. So if you're just fishing off the cusp and you've forgotten anything, then it's fully stocked. It's got everything you need. All the sort of going baits, the baits that the, the fishery sees regularly all the time that the fish are accustomed to. Yeah, good little, nice little setup for you to come and enjoy a bit of fishing. Got some little cabins. Nothing too fancy, they're just to keep you dry and got a light for the winter. Um, but people seem to like them, they are what they are. And uh, yeah, come on down. Mate, it's gone past halfway, 105 miles. How yeah. are you feeling? Actually better than the, uh, between 60 and 80, not yeah. fun. Then you stopped in bag shot and cracked on, really good. Brilliant. Feeling better. Mikey's in the hurt locker a bit. Yeah. Just getting a little bit more nutrition in and uh, fluids but yeah and there's some downing stretches coming as well you must be happy in a, for that. In a while <laughs> <laughs> in a while yeah um is, is anyone how, how they're getting on at um yeah, acorn is it? yeah yeah catching a few so they're all happy we will total up the weights and i'll let you know on the next one no that's brilliant um i think 130 is the next stop fantastic well you get yourself fueled up yeah, and we'll catch you up, fueled up yeah brilliant thank yeah. you Ah, fish number four on the end. And just whilst they had a bit of time, they were just milling off the top, mopping up a few leftover floaters. We come back round, flip the rod out, and oh, we've got another nice mirror. Happy days. Go on, manners, pedal a bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 gents, that was a busy spell of angling. Safe to say, mine's the smallest, but no less perfectly formed. It's kicking off on the floaters, boys. You've had that one on the deck as well. Well done, mate. And hopefully we're cruising on the way to the total. Kissy. Yeah. Good angling, boys. Yeah. Nice. Dave Lyons, tackling mines. Hassan Khan. Always good to see you, mate. Thank you, buddy. What a day. What a beautiful day, yeah. What, uh, what a venue. Mate, it's a very nice venue. We still need to catch your fish after this oh, before you do the off skis. Um, yeah. Tackling mines, catch, chase the sun. How did this all come to be? Did Manners coerce you into it? Did he yeah. talk to you about fundraising for you guys? What, how did it happen? I've known Manners since Gold Catch. Um, announced we we're going to be a platform. You know, Manners has been a great support for both me and Tackling Minds and um, continues to do so. So yeah, he approached me in regards to this fundraiser he's doing, knows everything Tackling Minds is about and um, knows we need uh, vital funds to continue the work we do. In terms of funds, obviously, there's loads of different sources of sort of income with regards to this fundraising. There's Manners doing his bike thing. There's us here down at Acorn Fishing. There's various other things with Capital Park competitions. Yeah and obviously Rob's stuff down at Shearwater. The actual money, the funding, what are you gonna use that funding for with regards to tackling mines? 
So a number of things really. So for instance, we need a level two coach to facilitate any event for legality reasons. It actually costs around 900 quid to put somebody through the level two, well, level one, level two, safeguarding, DBS, first aid training. So yeah. it's not cheap. So, you know, we, to be able to expand, to be able to reach more people doing the work we do, we need more volunteers. So yeah, it goes to supporting that infrastructure basically. And the actual day down here, mate, how have you found it in terms of organisation, the fishing? Obviously, you said you like the venue. Yeah, the venue's mega. You know, as, as you know, I'm not too much of a carp angler. You know, I'll dip my toes in here and there, depending what type of fishing it is. But, you know, Bart's got a, a mega venue. He's a mega look as well, actually. You know, first time I've met him today. It's always great to come down and fish with you. Anyway, you're always learning something. So, yeah, I always thank you for that as well. Don't be silly, mate. We'll go and catch you one in, in due course. In terms of future, yep. catch, tackling minds. Obviously, you guys have partnered up on a number of different things. You've sort of reciprocated funding for each other. You're sort of very much a linked partnership. What do you see in the future for sort of catch and tackling minds moving forwards? No, as we're both new organisations, you know, it's great that the support is there for one another. So as we both continue to grow, yeah, it's um, we'll do that hand in hand. Yeah, nice, mate. Well, it's a very good relationship. I enjoy working with you, mate. I enjoy working with the catch guys. And now, enough talking on this bench. Have it. I need a coffee, yeah. but I want to do that. I'm going to stick some mixers out yes. and hopefully get you one off the top boy, yeah? Sounds good to me, brother. Let's do it. Come on. Well, this is my little niece and uh, Zoe and Winnie come along to see what was going on. Hassan's rods rattled off off the island and Winnie was all over it <laughs> before he had a chance and uh, wouldn't give the rod back. And she's wound a, a nice 20 pound 10 ounce mirror in. Absolutely lovely fish this one. Oh, you've got to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep holding it. No, I can't. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful fish. Steve's got cramp, oh. um, so yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But we're waiting for him. Rob's on a hundred pound, or well over a fish. Hassan has pulled it out of the bag. Well, I say Mark Bartlett has pulled it out of the bag. He's coming to help Hass, and they are flying now. Apparently, there's carnage down there. Rod's everywhere. Double takes, three, four fish held up at a time. So we're going to wait for Steve. See how the last 130 miles have affected him. And next section is the men dips, and that is the hill. Good luck, Steve. Well, I mean, I felt okay, and then just started cramping about eight miles ago. Well, Steve, I'll give you some good news. You're 130 miles in, you broke the back of it. Rob is sweating. Is the last it? two hours, he ain't had a bite. He's sitting on just over 100 pounds worth of carp, but he has not had anything in the last two hours. Really? So you are sneaking ahead. Come on. It's good. It's very good. Our friend Hassan, Mark has appeared. And I think they're well over 120 pound a carp. Are they? Yeah. What a surprise. <laughs> Sorry, love you, Hass, but... It is carnage. They've got five rods out in one swim, multiple Hello. of them fishing. They are gunning for you. Oh, what a surprise. So it looks like Bart is... Uh, Bart's going to save the day. <laughs> but oh, Rob yeah, has only been fishing with three rods. Has he? Between oh, the two of have them. Have you got a longer one? Yeah. There's your box there, the broken box. So so literally about... Oh, is he? Yeah, that's so what I've you've told them, for. you've got to dust off the other three. And if all else fails, he can count Bream. <laughs> I suppose we'll let him. Yeah, good. Um, caffeine kicked in. After about 20 minutes, I was flying. Um, just conscious of time. I want to make it sunset. So. <laughs> no, feeling good. The camaraderie's kicking in now with everyone. I'm encouraging. So yeah, 75 miles, which 
Is Objectively, it's still top? quite a lot. Is but this a or? The, supposedly, this bit's a bit flatter. And then we've got the men dips, which everyone talks about. And then I'm hoping that the last bit is uh, lapid. It's all down. Well, mate, after that <laughs> four fish flurry, mate, I am flagging in the heat. It's seriously hot, isn't it? It is. We are hiding under the tree. It is absolutely red as. I don't know how you're doing it, to be <laughs> fair, mate. My, my poor ears are going to be like port scratchings later. They're going to be <laughs> peeling off. But no, it's absolutely baking. Look, yeah, we had those four fish, and it is absolutely dead as a donut now. The wind has spun about 180 degrees, yeah. and for whatever reason, even our mixers that have drifted off, they're not even taking them with the wind, nothing. They've just disappeared. So we're hoping, well, we've had another little go just a minute ago, priming it again, trying to get a few going and absolutely nothing. I have put the two bottom bait rods out on the island. Paul's yeah. got his bottom bait rods out because as that sun drops, there might be half a chance off the deck. Yeah. But realistically, I think we might have to call in a secret weapon to get this done. Yeah, if it doesn't pay off, we might have a chance last knocking, don't we? We might. Like, maybe. But we have got that option. Yeah. We might let Mr. Lister go and see that option. And if we need to call it in, we'll call it in. But Pride won't let us do it now, will it, mate? Not, we'll keep working. Not, not just yet. We'll give it another hour or so. Fingers crossed, mate. So the yeah. scores on the doors, to end that segment, we are 75 pounds short. We are in late afternoon going into evening uh -huh. and i think manners is what probably the same amount in terms of mileage short of finishing so it's all to play for we've got an ace card but we ain't gonna stop trying are we mate no in fact why don't you go and show them the ace card now and get it sorted mate the plan of attack is to basically make up the job that isn't finished. Because clearly, the lads aren't capable of getting the job done properly. And what do we do? We leave it to a woman to do the job. Because it will always get done. So we're going to do a bit of pace fishing, is what we're going to do. And hopefully, be able to make up the weight. So unfortunately, first fish is the wrong one. Um, so we'll pop that one back. But the good thing is there's fish. So just hopefully his brothers, sisters, aunties and uncles don't turn up because there is some big tench and quite a lot of them in here. So we'll keep trying. Right, so this is, this is our match lake. And as much as both myself and Mark own the lake, we hardly ever actually get a chance to fish it. So, and the last time I actually fished this was in January. So we are going to, hopefully, they go, well, the carp, average size is five to 10 pound. Um, there is a lot of stockies. It is obviously a little bit later on, so hopefully, we're going to get a few nice little edge fish, and even better if the paste plays ball, some lumps. Well, I'm giving her a bit of. Uh, tutoring again. I've helped Bart out on the floaters and now I'm helping Zoe out on the pole because she seems to have been struggling to sort them out and instantly, as if by magic, like the she's um, just turned up. Yeah, there it is. She's in. Um, she's on the core. Right. What do we need? £72? £75? We needed £75. Yeah. There's about 40 minutes left to go right. if Manners pulls it out of the bag, which he should do. Right, and I've got to put it out of the bag. Because How many more do you think you need? You lot are Ooh. incompetent. That's a good one. Incompetent's a harsh word. We've done, I think we've done well considering conditions. So you've got 
a world champion, what, what do you call yourself? You... <laughs> I don't call myself anything, <laughs> mate. I call myself Hassan Khan, mate, is what I call myself. <laughs> I like that. I'm not a world champion. Um, I'm Lady Bartlett, actually. La Lady Bartlett of the Manor. Lady Bartlett of Acorn the, uh, Fishery. Um, how many more do you think you need? Manor. On a serious note, we needed 75 mm, or 72 odd pounds. I still need pounds. about 20 pound, I reckon. Just I think you're well on your way to finishing this tally quite easily. We should have done this earlier in the day. We could have all gone to the pubs and ice cream and lived the dream instead of sweating our backs out. Yeah. It's a much better idea. No, but in realistic terms, you've got what? You must be nearing what we need. You must be nearing what we need. Uh, Please. The pub is calling. Have I got half hour? <laughs> you got half an hour for, to get what? Another 10 pounds? Starting to cramp up now, but listen to the Spice Girls album for the last half an hour, so that G'd you up. Swings around about. We're good now, I guess. What would you do? Adrenaline's starting to kick in. The next, the next part's going to be challenging. Why's that? It's Mendips. So that's the hills, that's the inclines. That gets us to the top. Yeah. And then it's anywhere between 30 and 50 miles an hour, so a good 40 minutes if we can. So that is when you're going to a make up some time, but that is some time you can actually. Take your legs off and just... Yeah, at that point, my wife will immediately update the personal health issues. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, by the way. Well, get sorted, and I'll see you very soon, my friend, all right? Thanks, dude. Right, well, it's actually uh, getting a little bit heated. We're up against it. Manners is approaching the uh, finish line and we're not quite cutting the mustard. So um, all the stops are out. Zoe's trying to catch as many as she can over on the match lake because <laughs> Manners didn't actually specify which lake we were supposed to fish. So uh, yeah, technical loophole in the rules. Um, she's over there bagging and Hassan is, well, he's fishing the absolute banker spot and not really catching he's had he's had one fish off it i've just chucked this rod out on the method straight on the money and caught one in like five minutes and i've just recast it and had a liner so fingers crossed we could be on for another one but it's yeah it's getting hot it feels like sort of like the mad rush before the finale like you know we've got to, well yeah we've got to get there so come on so zoe's fish she's probably got around 40 pounds in weight at the minute um the fish that I've just had, that's probably 12 pounds maybe. So yeah, I think, I think I need another one on this, another good fish on this. And we could be, we could be there. And we've, I think we're into the last, the last hour now at least. Um, yeah, come on. Zoe, the secret weapon. Yes. I think we needed 75 pounds, okay? Now, I don't know how much you've had. Do you reckon you've done that on your own? Mm. C close? I, mm, I've had a couple of lumps at the end. Couple of unit. lumps at the end. Unit. 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 Well. Paste fish units. In addition to that, me and Bartlett have helped ourselves to a couple on the main lake. So, you hopefully, a couple. A couple. Hopefully, fingers I would, crossed. I would like to say I got fifty pound. That might be enough to do it. What we need to do is weigh these fish. I'd like si to hope I got sixty. Every time I look round, you were I playing could a fish. Have eighty. This is very broad. You've had some. We're going to weigh them. We're going to go and weigh those two, and hopefully, between us, we've managed to complete the challenge. Manners, I still believe, is twenty minutes away. 
Right, Zoe, this is the first half of your bag and the first half of my chiropractor bill. 46.8. Oh, that's more. Right, 46 eight. <laughs> Plus 55. Three. Three, so what's that? Oh, hang on. Oh. It's 55.3. The Acorn A Team secret weapon. Your first bag was 46 pound. Your second bag was 55 pound. We needed 75 pound overall, which right, means 55. we've done it. Woo! Bosh, get in. And? Me and Bartlett over there have had a couple more too. On what this is. We'll call it 55 too. It, it, it's absolutely okay. needless. We've done it, mate. Celebrations, get them back in. Let's go to the pub. Manners, you better have pedalled your way to the finish line. B. You've got a few more miles to catch up. <laughs> Well, what a perfect way to round off, gents. Paul, Bartman, it's been emotional, sweaty. Testing. Hard work, but... We've done it! Yes. Get in. Wouldn't be anything, and we couldn't have done it without our secret weapon. So, get in here, come and celebrate. Manners, well done for completing it. Well done, all of you. Well done, you, Zo. A massive shout out to Capital Clark Competitions, Tackling Minds and the guys that came down, everyone who's donated. And thank you guys all for watching. What did these actually weigh together? Well, we somebody. We didn't really need to weigh them, did we? Somebody already did it, so we didn't need to weigh them. But, all Ryan's round. at least 74 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> all right. pounds. There's you, me struggling at 50. You did very well. And a little grassy. But more importantly, we did it. Count of three, a big come on. One, two, three. Come yeah. on! Lads, unbelievable. Congratulations. 205 miles. You beat the sun. How are you feeling? Um, uh, incredible, a phenomenal experience. Did the usual manly thing and burst into tears about 100 yards out. Um, but just um, epic, yeah. absolutely epic. Do it with this guy, he absolutely got me here and over the line. He's Wasn't been this, working with me for the last month. 18, 20 months, he's known you the long yeah. journey. Yeah, and um, specifically for this, um, for this ride, uh, October last year, I just nailed, nailed on. I would not have got across the line. Was an absolute legend. Funny enough, it was a year yesterday to the day that and I found the WhatsApp that Steve texted me and said, "Do you fancy chase the sun?" I'm <laughs> into it, and I said, "I'll give it, I'll give it, a, I'll give it a thought." Yeah. And then a couple of months later, I said, "Yeah, sod it, let's do it." And how do you feel about that message now? Yeah, I mean, one of the best decisions. Fantastic. I did eight months of gym sessions, getting up early. I haven't seen Catherine on the weekend. You haven't seen Jen and Manson most weekends. In the we've gone out in the dark, we've been out in the freezing cold, and coming around Western Superman, seeing the sea, the pier, and knowing you're gonna do it. Well, yeah. I mean, for us, it's been a pleasure following you all day. It really has, hasn't it? It's been fantastic. And not only was it a personal challenge, you've done it yeah. for two fantastic yeah. charities. Yeah, I'm, I'm really made up about that. I think, uh, having looked at the GoFundMe page, there's still time to do that for the next two or three weeks. Um, at least we're running a load more capital carp competitions. Yeah. Uh, some amazing prizes there. Those guys have been absolutely yeah. insane. The amount of support they've given without any 
question whatsoever. It's been fantastic. You know, QZ, Hassan, everybody has just stepped up. I mean, the amount of love we've had has been great. And, not, you know, the reason we're doing that is specifically for Tackling Minds and Phoenix Heroes. You know, they, they, they rely on funding. They rely on contributions to do the amazing work they do. Yeah, I've gone through a bit of pain and suffering today. And, Tomorrow we'll have some sore areas that we won't talk about on camera, but the reality is those guys, you know, the, the money we raise will actually save lives and actually make a real difference. So absolutely brilliant. And and thank, thanks everybody for getting involved. It's been insane. Work. Most absolutely. important question, did we, did we win? You're at the end with me? <laughs> yeah, boy! <boy. laughs> we won. That's all that matters. Husey, in your face. <laughs> See you again next year. But love you.